Hello guys, I'm back again. We're going to do another tutorial, but first I want to share this great book with you guys by Jack Ham. I already show you the his first book. I think his first book was the cartooning book, which is a cartooning the head in the figure. Um, and this one is drawing the head in the figure, so mostly anatomy and stuff. So it's a real great book. I'm going to have to show you... Um, Instead of horizontal, I'm going to have to show you vertical, vertically like this, you know. So I'm going to show you page by page. But first I got to um, see if the phone holder works for me. I don't want any um, complications here. And I got to make sure that the level of the phone, like the level of the phone holder stays still. I don't want to make it, oh, yeah, there you go. I think that's good. Then focus it. All right, let's continue with the book. As you can see, it's very classical, kind of like a Loomis style of drawing, very Andrew Loomis. And uh, it's a lot of reading, that's for sure. But it's got a lot. This is very, very different from the first book he made because um, the other book was mostly, even though it had faces, but basically, this is more like the, um, sort of like a Loomis style face, you know what I mean? And this is very easy to do step by step, the process, how to do a 1930s look, 1940s look with the face and the head. And after I show you this book, I'm going to, um, I reviewed, which I did a mistake on the other video, is a technique by Romero. I did explain it right. But this time, I got the whole idea of it, and I'm going to share that with you. And then another, te uh, another technique, a method by a Spanish guy. Um, he actually shows you a great way of how to draw a portrait by using, just by starting, starting with the center line. But first, I want to show you this book. It's a very, very good book on drawing faces, eyes, nose. It's got everything. Pointers in drawing the eye, the eye wheel shows you all kinds of eyes. That looks like um, Julie Gar, yeah, Julie uh, Garden from uh, Wizard of Oz. And portraying the female mouth, the lips, how to draw the lips. Very very classic, nineteen thirties look. We have different smiles here, the expression on the smile. It's a very good book. And pretty much like I've been showing you guys, the triangle technique from the eyes all the way down to the mouth. Basic nose. And remember, I've been showing you that the nose has some type of contour underneath the nose. So you can tell right here. You can tell right here. Let me get my pencil for a second. I'm going to take out the lead because I don't want to draw on my pencil. There you go. You can see the um, the outline of the nose, and you can see, this is very important, guys. It's not just only drawing the nostrils. Some noses are shaped very different, and you can see the contour underneath the nose, you see? Over here, you can see a little bit. It, these are like different types of nose. What I like about this book that it shows you the bottom of the nose, but in different forms, you see? Sm very, very small nostrils here. Of course, everybody's nose is very, very different. Uh oh, the phone is moving again. So um, it gives you an idea also with the profile nose, different styles, different shapes of uh, noses when it comes to the um, profile. And here's the cartooning aspect of the way a nose is done in sort of like cartooning. Especially, this gives you an idea how to do the inking on a nose. 
Here's uh, noses again, different types of noses. You can tell it's very classic, very uh, 1930s. I, I love this. Very Loomis style. Very Norman Rockwell, very American. This is, this is the thing that um, I've had a, a conversation with Romero that um, I think the classic way of drawing is way better. Um, drawing people and faces. Um, I know many of you already know that I do not like manga too much, even though I do have a couple of books, which I'm going to share that with you about manga. There is a good book that has to do with manga drawing, but the artist is by a Hispanic woman that actually does some great, great anatomy, which I'm going to share that with you in the future. But I'm not too crazy about manga. I'm more more like old school, classic, mm, Norman Rockwell and Andrew Loomis. This is great uh, for drawing ears. If you guys need reference, this is the book to get when you're doing ears. Very, very realistic. Very cartoon also on the face here. Even though this book is not mainly cartooning, but it gives you an idea of cartoon from the realistic face. This is very beautiful right here. Look at all the details on the hair over here. That's what I need a lot of practice, doing hair like this. That is fantastic artwork. Very classical, very 1930s. I love this. Look at that. That, that kind of reminds me of that Merlin Monroe look with an Andrew Loomis atmosphere to it. Very beautiful, the shape of the face. My greatest guess is, you know, once you do the oval, which we're going to go over that again, the oval. We're going to do it two types of ways how to draw a portrait, a nice portrait. And if we, if, um, if I want, I'm going to have to probably maybe use some of this reference right here so in order to get it better and stuff. It's always good to use reference. Here's how to draw the hair, the different types of hair styles. Let me move this out of the way. This thing is, there you go. This is another way how to draw faces, which is really cool. I like this. Very classic, step by step. This is another way how to draw the profile by putting a circle inside the block shape into a square, see? It's a very easy process how to do the profile. Then it shows you different types of profiles here. It's not very clear. I gotta like bring it closer that you guys could see more of the details, you see? Unfortunately, the camera's not getting it. The phone is not getting it. I need to get me a professional camera. It's way better. Um, so anyway, these are different types. You can see the different types of profiles. There's a profile that goes upward, more upward, a little bit of a curve here. And this is more like a straight nose. Uh, of course, these are all Nordic noses from different types of women. <coughs> this is the... Like sort of like the regular classic uh, Norman Rockwell type of nose. That's really cool. And the eyes are very important. Of course, and I've shown you many times that the eye is like a V shape. Sort of like, um, you know, a V shape that goes, which I'll show you, which I showed you guys many times. That is sort of like a V shape, you see? Sort of like a V shape. And it's always good to use um, reference. Always good to use reference. Here's the top of the eyelid here, right there. And then the eyebrows right here, see? So it's like a V shape. And then the eye, sometimes it's a little bit in or outward like that. With a little bit highlight so it's like a v-shape always remember it's always a v, uh, v shape 
Of course, there are different types of eyes, sleepy eyes, closed eyes. It's very important that you guys, um, oh, I gotta fix this again, hold on. Just bring it a little bit close, there you go. Hopefully you'll hold. Yeah, so many different types of eyes, and especially on the male eye. Here's a profile, but this is a different uh, type of profile that you can see the other side of the eye. That's also important. That's also important to draw eyes, um, sorry, profiles that has a little bit of a view of the other eye here, which I'm going to actually do some more uh, tutorials on profiles. Because I also need practice doing this type of profile. Because I um, usually draw profiles that are, you know, flat. But I want to draw profiles that actually has more like a, a three-dimensional form. This is more what I do, more like a flat drawing of a profile. Of course, he's giving you an idea of a man and a woman's profiles. The faces are completely, totally different. This is a great drawing of an old, uh, older man, about 30, 40 years old. These are all great pictures here, guys. You guys got to get this book. It's, uh, believe it or not, like I said, I found this book really cheap. Um, and you won't believe the price when it first, it was like $1.95. And this was actually in, oh, let me see the year of this book. It doesn't tell you, but it'll... Yeah, 1963. Can you believe that? 1963. So this book is pretty old, and I really got to take good care of this book. And here's more of the profile right here. Squinting eyes, the mouth. Here's a skeletal... Um, Profile right here. That's very important to to study the the structure of the face the bone structure of the Of the profile That's a great picture that looks almost like John Wayne a kind of Yeah, it could be John Wayne and This is more like um, Yeah, this is Abraham Lincoln I don't know who this is, but that's a great drawing. That kind of reminds me of a Loomis style drawing. And this is a process uh, that you can actually draw the face by using sort of like an oval shape. This is a great drawing right here. Look at that. Look at the details, the tones, and this is something very important, you know, to study on the face, all the, the planes of the face. Because when you're doing the planes of the face, it actually forms the tone, the black and white tones of the face. The shadow, you know, the cast shadow of the faces and all that stuff. Let me drink some water. My voice is going. Hold on. And these are also um, children right here. Not only he provides you information on drawing regular people, but children. Children are very important to draw. Look at the expression on that little kid. Very Loomis style. Very Loomis style. Like Norman Rockwell. And that's what this book reminds me. Norman Rockwell and very Loomis style. Now, here we have the, proportion, uh, the proportions of the human figure, the female and the male. And it gives you the height of the figures, the skeletal part of the figure, the gesture, the simple stick figure figurette. And remember, um, we discussed that the male figure, the torso, is more bigger and the hip area is smaller. And the woman is on the torso smaller and then the bottom is more expanded out. See? And we have more gestures and poses. That's good we can use. 
This is also a great technique by just following the gesture line and doing the form of the body like this, you see? It's very simple. It's not so hard. You can use the block shapes right here, the V shape for the crotch area, then continue with the legs. Very simple, guys. It's not, I mean, you know, many of you might think this is hard, but it's really, it's all about practice, you know? This, I gotta turn it this way because it sh has a sort of like a diagram of how a male, the posture of the male is. This is actually called the basic, basic lines of the figure extended. So this is a different type of method. Here's another great method here too, how to draw women, especially the form of the woman. This is very helpful. You start with sort of like a triangle shape, so triangle upside down and another triangle here. And you start forming the body until it turns into a real woman, see? Here's another one. This is the same technique as this, except that you're not using too much lines. You're just actually doing, and let me give you a quick demonstration since I'm showing you this book. Because mostly a lot of people that review a lot of art books, they don't really show, they don't give you an idea, but at least I actually give you an idea of how the book is all about and uh, of course we'll we'll start a line here for the hip area and then here's the torso the um, the shoulder so this is what the artist does he does sort of like a triangle this way and then another triangle going down this way see it's very simple like that here's the head of the woman and then here we have the arms you could use lines if you want or you could just draw the arms pretty much like um, over here that you see and then what you could do, you could do lines, you know, if you want. You know, you could do the lines for the legs like that. Some cartoonists actually use, you know, these joints and then they do the lines on this type of technique. And then you do the outline of the legs, you see, like that. Now, this is not going to come out perfect because I'm actually doing this uh, fast. Let me see if I could do this more better. Hold on. I'm going to do this better because I don't want to get you guys lost. Let's do this better. Let's concentrate. The problem is um, sooner or later I got to go to work. Maybe I might do another video basically on this book because I want to show you guys how it's done and many uh, tutorials I've seen a lot of tutorials basically on this book, but they don't give you an idea. But since I'm always drawing and I know these things, and I want to share how this is done. So it's very simple, guys. It's not so hard. You start with a triangle here, triangle here, but make sure you do the balance line, okay? And here we have the head right there. And then, of course, we have our arms going back. And you see how it's actually, you know, giving you an idea. That's the same thing when you do the back view. The back, the back view, you do the same thing, except that you're doing circles for the buttocks, you see? See the circles for the buttocks? That's the same thing. It's the same method, except that you're going to do on the backside buttocks. All right, so let's continue. This is also uh, different ways of drawing the figure. Approaching the figure drawing in different ways, okay? So there's so many ways. This is not just the only way. You got the Loomis style. Loomis uses sort of like, um, uh, like a mannequin kind of method. And, uh, of course, uh, this is a different way of doing figure drawing, you know? If you're really practical, you could actually use, you know, these shapes here and then just do lines for the legs. Pretty much what you see here. See, he's giving you an idea here. See? See how he does sort of like the form of the body and then he does lines for the legs? Well, it's the same thing when you're looking at this type of drawing right here. It's the same thing. You can use... Also, you can do the same thing and do the outline of the legs and then continue. For example, I've seen a lot of artists do that kind of stuff, which uh, they'll do like, um, for example, uh, here's the balance line, 
and we use the torso. We gotta remember that the woman's torso is smaller and the hip is more bigger, right? Like that, see? And then you can do the outline of, of the legs like that, see? And then when you do the outlines, what we gotta do is do the V shape here and then start working with the center of the body. The inner outlines of the legs, you see? But very, you know, just be careful, take your time when you're doing this because you want it to look really good, okay? Here's another technique, you just use a, um, a big rectangle shape and then you start shading in the rest of the body. That is really cool. This is the skeletal technique that you can use. You can use the feeling the sweep of the line that runs through the figure, see? And then start drawing the figure. So there's so many ways. And here's um, the arm movement and the body proportions. This is also um, very popular when it comes to drawing figures. Here we have the principle of the T. You can form uh, different parts of the body with the T. Of course, this would be like a T. And you have all kinds of T's over here. See, um, every part of the woman's body right here. Here's another way of drawing the... Um, I remember when I first got this book way, way back, I used to love drawing this especially this pose, this woman's pose right here. You can use um, the gesture lines and use the, the block forms, and then little by little start forming the, the contour of the legs, little by little, until you start um, shaping the whole body and stuff. This is called joining the arms and legs to the torso, see? How you actually connect the arms, the legs, you see? So I'm gonna go a little faster with this book, guys, because I'm just gonna explain the good ones that I like, the ones that I think it's easy to do. Like over here, here we have a great, great way of doing the skeletal. Like many of you don't know how to do the skeleton, so it's a very simple process to do. All you gotta do is, you know, um, start out with the, as you can see, it starts out with a gesture, the center line, and you do an oval. And you do sort of like a, I would say a butter sh butterfly shape here, something like that. Um, I don't know whether to call it the butterfly shape, but let's try that out, see how that works out. So I just want to make sure you guys can see. We'll start with the torso. And then we do an oval like that. And then we'll do the shape of the pelvic, like that. Sort of like a butterfly shape, see? And then do like maybe an open V shape, like that, okay? And then, the, as you can see, um, the legs, uh, the joints come out further out. Kind of like the, um, I would say like the Loomis method. So the Loomis method would be something like, well, the Loomis method is something like this, like that, see? The, the pelvic, and this is the pelvic, the pelvic part of the, the body. But this is very good. You can use this by drawing the woman's body or the male's body, doesn't matter. Just make sure the proportions look convincible that it's a male or a female. That's very important, guys, okay? So we got the structure of, of the body that you see here. So let's do this in ink so that way you can see um, what I'm trying to explain.
All right, so I had to find a good pen, a Micro 5 or a, a Graphic 1. So let's do the Graphic 1 better. Now pay attention how I did this. I started out with the center, the core of the body, which is the gesture. That's for the spinal cord of the body. Then that circle, right? And then, you know, you do the torso. You do the torso first and then do that circle and then do the shapes for the pelvis, the pelvic. Do the, joint, the, the joints coming out this way, connect it. And we have the legs this way. And then we'll do the, sort of like the Loomis method. We'll do the joints like that, something like that. And then the head. Okay. So the next thing we do is we start uh, forming contour of the body see see how it's shaping the V shape the crotch we're giving her body like that see so this is this you see and that's the same thing if you want to do, you know, different poses, action poses. So let's do this again. Let's do this again because I want to show you guys how it's done. Say we're going to do this body right here. So we're going to do this regular <clears throat> front view body. First, I want to capture the shape of her torso. Then I'm going to do her tor, you know, the, the ribs. Okay, and then I'm going to do the shape on the bottom, right? And what I'm going to do next is, is do the circle like that and do the um, pelvis shape like that. See? And see how it, everything starts, you know, forming up little by little. Um, and then I'll start doing um, the joints coming out like that. See? These shapes actually helped me form the shape of her body, see? Here would be her knees. Right there, see? And then we could work with her arms. Like that. And her head would be around here. See how simple it is? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do work with her body, the skeletal part of her body. And here we have the oval and the pelvis and the joints all the way down. And then the head, see? So now what I could do is erase all this that I don't need, you know, make it a, just a little bit visible because I want to see the shape, you know what I mean? Just a little bit visible, see, that I can see the shape a little bit. So what I do now is I, if I want to do this whole beautiful body of this woman here, so I'm going to capture it. Now that I did that first movement of the shape of her body, I could make her body way better now. See? Here's the crotch area right here. Here's the belly button around here. And the abdominal. I keep forgetting the name of this. There's so many, so many parts of the anatomy that I can't. But notice that I'm working with the center of her body. See? The skeletal first, the block shapes that I use. And then I added the skeletal parts afterwards. And then look how cool this came out, see? Then, of course, I'm gonna make a line to make her breast, her chest, her, the, uh, I don't know how you call this, is the upper part, the bone here on top of her chest area here. And then here's her neck right here. 
and then right here is her her shoulder lines here and if you want always remember that you can use the that triangle to figure out the shape of the woman head to the shoulders so everything basically has to do with shapes guys you know everything has to do with shapes let me get a little bit comfortable here Okay, see see how the body is actually taking form? Little by little, it's taking form. And then I start forming her body. It's a little bit closed. She's got big legs. So I want to make it look just like this. See how cool that looks? Very, very simple, guys. I mean, it's not so hard. All you gotta do is start with the, the shape, the shape of the torso, the shape of the uh, hip area. Measure, you know, measure where all the, uh, the, the, knee ca the, the knees are gonna be at, whatever, the head, all that. And then after that, you start forming the skeletal part of the body, you know, the pelvis and all that, just like I did before. All you have to do is just Go back on the video and check pretty much. So that's what this is, people. See, step by step, okay? You could, you could do the same thing with the male character. All right, so now let's, let's continue with the rest of the pages here. <coughs> here we go again with the, the block shapes. You can add the lines. You see the lines for the legs and you can add the cubes. Got the cone shapes, remember? These are sort of like cone shapes, cylinder cone shapes. When they're talking about cylinders, always remember that the cylinders are not, you know, like this, okay? People get confused by when they're drawing the figures, they do the cylinders like that, no. The, when they're talking about the cylinders, they're talking about cone shape cylinders like that. So we're like tapered in, see, like that, okay? That's what they're talking about. So never get confused with the, um, when you're drawing the uh, figure, don't get confused when they say cylinders. You got to know what they mean by cylinders. It's actually cone shapes. And I wish a lot of artists actually would, many of their books don't explain that too much. Here we have the skeletal part right here. You can see how it's formed, the gesture line right here. And then here we have the block shapes. Notice that this is smaller and this is more larger over here. It's a little bit exaggerated, but you, you get the idea, trust me. And here's a great way of doing the skeletal part by uh, starting this like this, but we're gonna work with the bottom part. So let's do the bottom part of the pelvis here. Here's the pelvis, right? Like that. Like that. And then, of course, the legs are coming out this way. This is more like uh, if you want to use it for a comic book style. So let's do this in ink. So that way you guys get an idea of what I'm showing here. Okay. And then, notice, if you look at this, it's like the outline, he's not doing the, uh, the core of the body, he's doing the, the bottom part of her legs. So that's what we're gonna capture. We're gonna capture the bottom part of her legs, see, like that. This one goes in like that, comes out like that, and that's her legs, you see? And that's part of her spinal cord. So it's a very simple way of, you know, doing the anatomy and uh, this is a very good way if you want to do realistic drawing um, you could use the skeleton technique it actually works out so let's go on with the next pages here we have more form this is putting the structural principles to work see how the uh, the twist of the body, I think this has to do with the twist of the body. But I got to read this. I got I haven't read this book in years. 
Here's the balance line. You see what I mean with the balance line? The balance line is very important. See the balance line here? There's a balance line here, balance line here. Balance line. All this is very important to draw great figure drawing. How to draw the neck, explaining the drawing necks right here, the woman's neck, the face, muscles, it's a very good book. And I'm pretty sure, trust me, uh, they, they made this book, they made a lot of copies of this book because a lot of people loved it because it, it shows a lot, very, very American style um, drawing the figure, very 1930s and 1940s style. So I'm pretty sure that this book, um, I will get very angry if one day they stop making this book, but I don't know, it's a very, very good book. I get very emotional with, you know, books that, that they need to be made again. And it's sad because um, I guess the old books from way, way back are way better, especially when it comes to how to draw books. And there's still a couple of books that I lost in New York that I'm trying to find. So far I found one, but that hasn't come yet. That's another one that has to do with uh, figure drawing and cartooning. Very classical style which I'm gonna share that with you guys later on. This is really cool how to draw the hands. Everything is basically, you know, has to do with shapes, you see? Shapes. Drawing hands in different forms. Here's the skeletal part of the hand. Bones of the hand. That's also important. And here we have different parts of the hands. I mean, there's so many ways of drawing hands. Some people start with the, the center of the, the pond of the hand, and they start drawing the fingers afterwards, you know? There's so many ways, and I'm going to do more, trust me. The problem is, is, you know, everything has to do with time. I don't have too much time for myself. But I, I'm going to be doing more tutorials. Um, but first, I want to finish, you know, the different ways of how to draw heads and faces, which I haven't, I still got a lot to show you guys and share a lot of, ways how to draw faces and heads. But this is a great way of drawing hands. And I think um, Andrew Loomis does stuff like this. You can, sh you can start off by doing, you know, the outline of the shape of the hand and do uh, sort of like cone shapes or cylinder shapes. Remember that if you look at your hand, your fingers, everything has to do with cylinder. You can could, you could tell there's a cylinder here and there's another cylinder kind of like tapers in, you see? There's a cylinder here, and then there's another thing, another cylinder, but it tapers, you know, it, it tapers. It's, so let me give you a, a demonstration here on, on fingers. For example, the first part of the finger looks like a, a cylinder, right? And then the other part of the finger is a cylinder, but it kind of tapers in, okay? So that's very important, you know, that pretty much what you're seeing over here. You can see it right here. It's very clear how the finger actually starts taking shape. Another way of doing this, too, you can start, say this is the pond of the hand, and you can do something like that, a long, you know, t um, cone shape like that, and then you start, you know, chopping it into sections and stuff. And this is great. Look at all this. I mean, great demonstrations in ink of different hand uh, poses, positions. You have the fist over here. This is more like the cartooning aspect in drawing hands, which is really cool. Here we have the legs, more legs, the bone structure of the leg. 
the muscle of the legs, the biceps. Very, very important to know all this stuff. This shows you the height of the, of the head, sort of like a foot. It gives you different ideas how to do the proportions right. Is the feet, how to draw the feet. Women's shoes. Men's shoes. This is awesome right here, look at that. Fantastic. Yes, uh, this is a very good book. The, the first book I showed you, the cartooning one, and this one is, is definitely a must. It's definitely a must. All right, so I got a half an hour left, so let me show you some real cool methods that I've been practicing. And first I wanna show you guys um, that I've been practicing the Romero technique. And uh, I think I went the wrong way about it, but actually I have to look at the video again to study the way it's done. So this is what we actually, you know, when you're looking at a face, if you're doing a portrait, you know, just make sure that you're doing um, the shape, sort of like an oval shape. You're doing the shape of an oval. Okay, you're doing a shape of an oval. But that oval, you are going to make it structural. And this idea came from the Bridgman book, which I yet, I still got to get that book. Okay? And you start shaping all the way down to the chin. See? And then you do a vertical line for the center of the face, right there. And then you're going to imagine that you're going to see the ears, right, you know, in the middle of the egg shape of the oval. So the ears would be around here. So we don't want to do all, you know, the, the ears yet. We're just going to do the bottom of the ears around here. Then the nose line should be here. The mouth line should be here. And once we do, you know, do that, we'll start shaping the shape of the face, you see, little by little. And this is gonna be the eyebrow line here, okay? Right here. And then the eye line should be around here. Very simple. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start working with the length of the nose. The length of the nose will be sort of like an eye shape, okay? And then you're gonna go up, make sort of like a triangle for the nose. And from the corners of the triangle here, you're gonna go up like that. And then you're gonna do uh, another vertical line here and another vertical line here. That would be, but make sure it's the same length, everything even, okay? Make sure that everything is even. And then we'll do the bridge of the nose there. That's it, okay? Once you do that bridge of the nose, everything starts taking shape. You can start doing the eyebrows. You can start working with the eyes. You know, I'm going to do this uh, a little faster because I don't have that much time. And you can start working, you know, if you want, you can start working with the nose first. Start working with the nose. The mouth, the center lip, the bottom lip, right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to visualize another eye here, another eye here. So I'm going to bring in a little bit, taper in the, the form of the face a little bit more. Now, a lot of people think, and this was actually said by uh, Romero, that it's better to use the Loomis method by, you know, you know, actually using the circle, which I'm gonna show you right now. 
But, you know, this, this actually takes a lot of practice, people. This really takes a lot of practice. You really got to really concentrate. If you really want to know this method or the other method or any type of method or technique, you really got to concentrate. Everything has to do with concentration. And then you can start doing the planes, you see? That actually helps you form the face a little bit better, see? See how the face actually starts taking shape more better? Once you have, you're doing the, the, you're working from the center and you're doing the planes of the face, your face starts getting way, way better because the planes gives it more form. Now let's do the Loomis method, which I'm gonna show you, which I did it right here. As you can see, I started out with, a, I started practicing, I started out, you know, doing the circle. I did the nose and then I did the segments for the eyes. And then when I did the segment for the eyes, I sort of like divided it into one, two, three, four, five, five lines, you see? Right here and right here. And I'm gonna show you how I did this. Okay. So we're gonna start with a circle. Like always, center. Vertical line for the center, horizontal line for the center also. It has to be four parts, okay, four parts. And then you're gonna divide it into three parts. One, two, three. See, one, two, three parts. So after that, what you're gonna do is you are going to be doing the eye line here. Okay, that's gonna be the eye line here. And then we're going to do the length of the nose, sort of like a triangle. Do a triangle for the nose. From the corner of the nose, you're going to go up. That would be a vertical line on this side and another vertical line on this side. See? Then you're going to do another vertical line, which is going to be the corner of the eye here. And then another vertical line for the corner of the eye on this side. Then you're going to divide another line, another eye width, here and another eye width here okay so i'm going to do this in ink so that way you guys know what i'm showing you guys here it's not going to be a finished drawing this is just only the segment and the method that's it we're not doing finished drawings here we're actually concentrating how to render and construct the head okay that's what's more really important the rest is up to you guys okay the rest, and I know you guys can do it, everything takes time, all right? So then after that, you're gonna do the nose, right? Do the segments for the eyes, like I told you, like this, here and here. Another eye with here, another eye with here. So you're gonna slice right between these two lines here slice right between these two lines here and that would be the shape of the face you can start doing a u shape all the way down taper down to the chin and then you do planes coming out from this side right near where the ears are going to be placed at okay you could do the eyes first if you want, you know, and then do the planes and then do the shape, but make sure everything is all, you know, well proportioned. Then the mouth should be around here. So I wanna see if I could do this a little better. And then we'll do the structure of the, bone, the side of the head, the hairline here, the other hairline here, see? So let's try this one again. Uh, let me sit down, hold on. We're gonna do this again. Let me make sure that you guys can see this. All right, good. All right, we're gonna do a circle, okay? Do a circle, vertical line. It's gonna be a horizontal line for the eyebrow line the eye line here, the nose line here, 
the hairline here and the chin line here. And then we'll do the nose, the segments for the eyes. And then another eye width here, another eye width here. So what we'll do is we'll start, you know, and it depends how the face structure is. You could, you know, start doing a round face like this if you want, or you could do a sort of like a um, tapered face going this way like this. You can taper in the shape of the face, meaning that you're doing something like this, just to make it very simple for you guys to understand. Taper like that, or you can do, and it depends on the size of the face. You, could, you know, if it's a big face, you kind of like, but it depends, you know, the, the, the position that they're looking. If they're looking upward and all that, you're going to have to use these techniques like that, see? So we're going to taper in just a little bit like that, see? Okay, we have the shape of the face. And what we're going to do is we're going to start, you know, rendering the eyes a little bit. Just to give a, you know, an idea how everything is going to look. The bridge of the nose, right? And then after that, we'll do the planes like that, see? And then we start to like a U shape, but tapered in all the way down to the chin. See how simple that is? I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. That's, that's how it's done. See, this one came out better like that because I started, the thing is I feel, when I draw, I like to sit down and, and it's hard to draw when you're standing up. Unfortunately, I'm not actually doing, I'm actually using a regular high table here. So again, vertical line, horizontal line for the center, the eye line here, the nose line, hair line, and then you could do the mouth line if you want, then the chin line, that actually helps you out to the proportions better. And then you're gonna, you know, do the triangle for the nose, sort of like an eye width. Bring it up, do the other eye here, the corners of the eyes, and then another eye width, like you see here, and then you slice right between these two lines here, you see? You slice between these two lines here. That's the shape of the face. If you were to do this sort of like a different face, um, mostly women's face are a little bit different. So we'll do the circle here. Let me see if you guys can see this. Yes, okay, good. All right, we'll do horizontal line. Wow, I only have like 50 minutes left. Time really flies, especially when you're doing something cool like this. The mouth line here, the chin right here. So we're gonna do the nose, do the eyes here, eye line here, the nose, the segments for the eyes, another eye width here, Another eye width here. And then you're going to slice. And we're going to make it sort of like a, a curve. Like that, see? That would be more like for like a woman's face. And the neck. So I'm going to do this in ink. slice right between these two lines and we'll slice right here sometimes you don't even have to use these lines you could do it you know a very fast approach as long as you see the proportions you know what I mean as long as you see everything right before your eyes you know you don't really have to use all these you know segments that I just did right now you could actually visualize it a little by little, I mean, you know, once you practice a lot, you'll be able to do all this. Very simple. And you can actually do the eyes instead of the segments. Do the eyes like that. And then you just slice like that, you slice. Like that. As long as you get the proportions right, 
like that. And you just slice. So you don't have to do all these segments like I was showing you. Like that, see? We'll start again with a circle. Vertical line. <clears throat> the eyebrow line. Eye line here. Nose line. Mouth line. And chin. And then you can start working with the nose. The bridge of the nose, work with the eyes, make sure it's well proportioned. And then you start slicing off the size of the face, you see? Start slicing off. And then little by little, you start, you know, doing the cheekbones right there and then taper in like that. And the neck is always slender from the eye level here, the eye length. That's what we, we actually do the neck. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. My cousin from New York, um, because I got so many cousins and families in New York, they told me um, that sometimes when you're exposed to a lot of air conditioning and AC, your voice kind of goes. <clears throat> and that's when you get all these crazy allergies and throat throats. And because when I was in, in New York, I didn't get sick that much um, or lose my voice like nowadays. But the AC, too much AC is not very good for you. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do another technique Okay, this is gonna be the eye line here, the eyebrow line here, and this is gonna be a three-quarter view. The, the nose line should be here, and then we're gonna do the chin line right here. Mouth line should be around here. So this one is sort of like you're working from the center to the outside, and I'm gonna show you how, how this one is done. And say you're looking at a, a like a photograph or a, a real person or something, you're doing a self-portrait of a three-quarter view, you're going to start with the nose, like that. <clears throat> then you start doing the segments for the eyes. And remember, this side you're going to see less. This side you're going to see more. So make sure that this eye looks lo just looks a little bit bigger. And this eye is coming in more. You don't see the tear duct. Okay? And then you do a hint of the eye. And, you know, very lightly, the hint of this eye right here. Start working with the bridge of the nose right here. And then you do start working with the mouth. But I might check out the video again. It's by this Spanish guy. I don't know exactly where he came from. But uh, it was very good. The tutorial he did was very good doing this technique. And actually, um, Abdon J. Romero does stuff like this. So you're working, you know, from the center, little by little, from this side to this side, to the outside. And now you can start working with the contour of the face. See? Like that. And I'm not using any reference. This is actually coming from my head. So I don't know who this is going to look like, but it's just something that's coming from my head. And then we'll do the taper in a little bit. And to figure out the, the length of the mouth, you could do this also. This actually works out like that, see? That way you don't actually bring in the face too close to the mouth. And the chin comes out a little bit, got a little lump out there. Let's just fix this just a little bit better in there. So this eye, he's looking in the corner of his eye. And so far, it works. I didn't think it would work, but I think it, you know, so far it works. 
And this is the first time I'm trying this method. So let me stand up to see better the proportions. Yep, it looks better. And then we'll, of course, the hairline should be here. Now, in order to do the rest of the face, little by little, all I have to do is work with the planes, you see? The planes is what really does the magic right there, see? The planes, and then the jaw. We'll do the jaw, upward, like that. And then we'll start, little by little, visualizing, we'll start visualizing the ear level should be around here. You know, very lightly, all this process, do it very lightly. And when you're satisfied, oh. Stupid alarm. Yeah, that, that's telling me that I gotta get ready to work. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done here, guys. So then, you know, you start working with the, the contour of the hair right there. And then the part of the jaw right there. And that's it. The neck. I'm going to do this better. Maybe I'll do another tutorial on this. The problem is I got to get to work soon. All right, guys. It's been a great time. And uh, practice drawing. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe because I'll be doing more videos of the same topic. Heads, faces, figures, everything. Okay?